Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Ma'am Ayu, as the lecturer of critical speaking. We from the group two are going to present our debate simulation for the final exam of critical speaking. First of all, let me introduce our group members. So we have two, two teams. So the first team is affirmative or government team. And then the, I, myself, Vita Mirani, is the first speaker. And the second speaker is Windy Puspilasari. And the, the third speaker is Sita Sefia Ningrum. And for the opposite team, there are Agustinus as the first speaker. And for the second speaker is Bunga Horinisa. And the third speaker is Horinisa Fauzia. Now let me start our debate for today. So the motion is, this house believes that video games make more harm than good. All right, um, before I stick to my arguments, let me define our motion for today. So as the first speaker from the affirmative team or the prime minister, I will give the limitations and parameters for this motion. So the video games here are the, any kind of games that made in the 3D or in the, in the form of video. And then for the harm itself is the negative effects of the video games. And then the stakeholders or the, out, or the actors of these motions is including children, teenagers, and young adults. All right, we from the affirmative team strongly agree with these motions because we believe that video games make more harm than good. So in the in this motions, we will give the, the parameter for the negative effects of video games, such as physical health, mental health, so, and social interaction as well. So most of the bad effects of video games are blamed on the violence they contain. Children who play more violent video games are more likely to have increased aggressive talks, feelings, and behaviors, and decreased withdrawal social helping, according to a scientific study from Anderson and Basman in 2001. A number of studies across different cultures suggest that children who play video games become physically aggressive in their daily lives. Also, according to Dimitri from the seat of the Seattle Children's Research Institute, those who watch a lot of simulated violence, such as those in video games, can become immune to it, more inclined to act violently themselves, and are less likely to behave empathically. And another study suggests that chronic exposure to violent games are, is not only associated with lower empathy, but emotional closeness as well. And then, so from this research, we can, um, we can state that the video games make more harms than good in terms of the, the mental health or the psychological effects. And then a, a Canadian study from McGill University shows that human computer interaction, such as playing video games, can have a negative impact on the, on the brain. This, it is because spending hours of days sitting in front of the computer playing video game can have several implications for the player's physical and mental health. When the player spend most of the time sitting in front of the screen absorbed in games, it is easy to forget to eat regular meals, drink water, exercise, and take care of their overall health. So it can cause to the, to the physical problems such as um, vision, so it can reduce their vision, and then it can cause uh, many um, physical problems such as um, big hearts and, and, uh, and the ability to memorize their their study as well and then um, some research has shown that violent video games are linked to increased aggressive behavior among players children are at a higher risk of being affected if they are exposed to violent games since a young age so this could result in a more impulsive and aggressive behavior and then it is essential to understand that each person may experience symptoms differently, but nonetheless, gaming disorder is known to produce a range of symptoms, as mentioned in my arguments. And then for the social interactions, the, the players who spend a lot of time to play video games will, 
will um, have the, the lack of time to interact with their with their surroundings. So for the players, um, such as students, they will have the lack of interactions with their friends or their family and also the, their teacher because they will spend most of the time to play video games instead of um, interact face to face with, with, with the people around them. So that's why we as the government team strongly agree and support this motion. I think that's all from me. Um, and then for the next speaker is the leader of opposition from the oversight team. Agustino's time is yours. All right, thank you for the opportunity. I'm I audible. Yes, you are audible. All right, thank you. All right, me, Agostinos, as the first speaker of the um, opposition team, states that we uh, disagree with this motion. All right, let me respect our motion today. Our motion today is video games makes more harm than good. We believe that video games sounds familiar in our society, start from kids to adults people. Nowadays, people frequently play video games because it was fun for them. We can see that uh, from the kids to adults, people, um, they play the video games. All right, um, before I direct to my argument, I would like to read but the argument that has been delivered by the first speaker of the government team. All right, the first is uh, opposition team said that more the players spend their time to play video games, the more the, the negative impact can come to them. However, they did not tell us how much the specific time it is, right? There are no indicators to measure the long time the players spend time to play the games. So their argument can be a sip. And then opposition team said that video games can increase aggressive behavior among players. Meanwhile, in fact, human's behavior can be influenced by many factors such as environment, pressure in family, and so on. Pressure. They use video games as treatment for them, also not permanently. At least they can feel happy at that time. All right, um, here I have one argument. Um, uh, my argument is, Video games can help fight depression. Sutton Smith became well known in the 1950 for studying children and adults to play. He observed that most people tend to experience stronger self-confidence, increased physical energy and powerful positive emotions like curiosity and excitement during play. This is a perfect contrast of, uh, to depression. People who are clinically depressed lack the cycle energy to engage with ordinary everyday tasks. They are overwhelmingly pessimistic, particularly about their own capabilities, and they experience a distinct absence of positive emotion. Two regions of the brain are continually hyper-stimulated. The first is the region most associated with the motivation and goal orientation, and the other one is the region most associated with learning and memory. When you think about the experience of playing a video game, it makes perfect sense that these two regions of the brain would be hyperactive. When we play games, we are immediately and constantly focused on a goal, whether it is to stop a puzzle, for example, find hidden objects, reach a fine finish line, or score more points than other players. The goal focuses our attention and create a sense of motivation and determination. As we anticipate, uh, anticipate our potential success, our reward pathways light up. In addition, by playing video games, they can interact with other people on top, not in real life. This condition can create a pleasant atmosphere in themselves because they now new friends who have the same interest with them that is playing video game. So that me, as the first speaker of the uh, opposition team, proudly um, decline this motion. Thank you. All right, you spend more than three minutes. Next, we have the second speaker from affirmative team. Windy Puspita Sari, time is yours. We are disagree with the statement that video games can help fight depression. 
because most people who play games tend to be easily angry and depressed because of the defeat of the game they play. Can video games be more harm than good because the more often children are exposed to video games, they have the potential to imitate or make children exert violence as normal and acceptable behavior in everyday life. The negative effect from a physical point of view is that those who play video games too often do not move much or stimulate it because they tend to sit or lie down a lot. And playing games to actually have a negative impact on the eyes. Starting a computer laptop or a cell phone screen excessively can make the eyes irritate. Watery or sore, it can even cause minus eyes, which requires the child to wear glasses to damage the optic nerve. From a cognitive point of view, if playing a video game that is not age appropriate and correct reference will appear. Fixing it in part and fiction is still difficult. For example, in the case of a slide, the prepar the preparator who is still a child assumes that the victim who was treated will be fine because that is what they see on TV. And not only that, if playing video games too often will cause addiction and will forget yourself, forget to study, even when learn just to remember the games. Game players tend to spending time just for playing games, so it can cause a course effect on healthy or can cause health to their students. So, there are many cases of video game addiction, one of which is the case of sick gather uh, at Asden Banjar Panjang Magetan Regency who skipped school for four months due to video game addiction. So in conclusion, video games contain more negative effects than positive effects. Cases that occur in playing video games will lead to addiction. So that it will result in forgetting time just by playing video games every day. There are many risks then that will offer one of which is damage to the eyes always starting at the screen and can result in this vision. And video games are not all recommended for early age. I think enough. All right, next we have second speaker from Opposite Team, Bunga Harinisa. Time is yours. All right, uh, thank you to the government team for the statement given. However, we as the opposition team strongly disagree with the statement that video games contain more neg negative impacts for children. The fact is that video games have a good positive impact on children development especially in brain development. We believe that video games are not completely bad and video games have a good impact on the development of children's motoric system, such as increasing creativity and triggering increased brain activity. In the video games, there are problems that must be found a way out to achieve certain stages or goals. So that the ability to think and reason is needed to be able to solve every problems in the game. Of course, uh, to reach uh, this stage requires high concentration and the right strategy. So that is will trigger the child brains to think critically and increase children's creativity. According to Agatha, the love of playing games allows children to, sharp, to sharpen their brains to solve problems so that uh, their reasoning abilities continue to develop. And according to Ali Sargin research, that, video, that children who play games for one or two hours can develop cognitive abilities such as counting, recognizing many shapes, uh, solving problems, and logic. Playing games can develop brain's abilities related to cognitive and logical mathematical intelligence such as the ability to count, logical thinking, and problem solving. Games can help children learn if playing games, if, if playing can be controlled or limited to the duration of three hours per day. 
Addiction to playing games can be overcome by providing supervision by parents when children play video games. So children can be controlled and not expensive uh, in playing video games. So we as the opposition teams uh, state that vid playing video games does not always have a negative impact on children grow. We believe that video games have a positive impact on helping children brains development. Uh, that's enough. Uh, thank you. All right, next we have the second speaker from the, sorry, I mean the third speaker from the affirmative team. Sita Sefianning Room, time is yours. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, first, I want to review uh, our side time. I disagree with the statement regarding the hobby of playing video games, all of children to serve their brand. To solve problems so that their reasoning abilities continue to just develop. I think uh, this will only make children addicted to playing video games rather than focusing on what the children want to learn. Um, the cross reference online scam that is increasingly widespread uh, today can make a game, game, gamer or player spend a lot of time just to play this game. This kind of game is not played by children or teenagers, but uh, everyone also likes to play this game. There are many research results that find the bad influence of online game addiction that can affect the behavior, functions, and structure of the brain. According to experts, playing video games has a bad effect, such as like um, bad effect of video games addiction. Report from the Mark Eden Science. Half of schools in the Mark found many students addicted to online scam. Science said that uh, there was a total of about 900 schools with uh, 29,000 uh, uh, teachers. The level of student addiction to online scam has become so severe that almost half of the school in the MAC are currently dealing with changes in student behavior due to online scam addiction. For example, MTS Takwiatulwatan Sumberajo Merangan District has found that um, there are more than 30 students who are with online games. A number of students who experience a decline in a event become lazy to study, um, suddenly ignore their teachers until the worst was spread to skip school. And um, play video game is not only affects uh, person behaviors, but also their health. Some experts say the outlook of video games as one of the causes of myopia or far sightedness is found at an increasingly your age. According to a study in the United States, twenty five percent of school children. Uh, age um, 9 until 11 years already need to manage classes to able to see clearly. In several schools, um, studied students who need to manage classes even reach uh, 18 until 90% when they start to grow up. The influence of video games and monitor screens or exposure on fatness is conferenced by Dr. Nina Ratnaningsi, SPM MSC, a community community ophthalmologist from Sisendo Hospital, Bandung. The same thing is um, also experienced by people who have to work in front of uh, the computer all day. I think that's all. All right, thank you. To close this debate today, we have the speaker from the opposite team, Orinisa Fauzia. Time is yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, some people say that playing video game can reach from harmful psychological effects such as dehydration or muscle loss or and bad eyesight. But I say to the right case when the player confuses the real world to the game world, resulting in potentially dangerous social encounters. However, these opinions have often used extreme example of unsupervised relationship with gaming and almost always depict case of game addiction. 
This isn't to say that video games pose zero risk to a child, physical or mental well-being. But other than that, the conversation around video games is more nuanced. More recently, the scientific uh, community has begun to explore a few positive benefits that playing video games can provide for both kids and adults. In part, due to tearing down the stigma related to gaming, like games make you lazy, games make you stupid, games make you make make you violent, or games make you have a bad eyesight, games make you less social, and a deeper understanding of what addiction actually means. Psychologists and researchers have identified a trope of beneficial features associated with healthy gaming. As our team stated before, there are beneficial things that we can get from playing video games. The first is related to mood regulation. Video games at the core are designed to entertain us, to provide uh, fun and enjoyment. In other words, video games are about play. For kids and adults, play is a crucial element for, to, our, to our mental health by strengthening our creativity and overall happiness. A study in the Game Health Journal showed that a prescription of casual video game played three times a week for 30 minutes found significant decrease in depression symptoms. And also, video games as a uh, video game have been increasingly been used in therapeutic practice for uh, for over a decade to help alleviate depression and anxiety. Uh, moreover. Games uh, can also improve our cognitive abilities. It likely comes as no surprise that gamers consistently display better uh, problem solving and creativity thinking skills. Uh, in study, uh, in study published in 2030, found that kids who play strategy-based games show an increase, uh, an increase in their problem solving skill leading to consistently have a higher grades in school compared to their peer, uh, non-gaming peers. So that's all for me. Uh, so that's why we as uh, opposition team totally disagree with the motion that video games brings more harm than good. Thank you, back to the moderator. All right, thank you. And as the, as the, to close or the closing for our debate, we have reply speech from the opposite team. And for the reply speech, Agustinus, time is yours. All right, thank you, moderator. Um, the honorable judges, in today's debate, we as the opposition team deserve to win this debate today. Let me tell you the reasons why our team is better than affirmative team. All right, before that, I would like to um, tell you that are two arguments from the opposite, uh, from the affirmative team that has been tackled down by our, by our team. Uh, the first is the opposition team said that the more players spend their time to play the video games, the more the negative impact can come to them. So this argument has been tackled down by our team. And then the opposition team said that video games can increase aggressive behavior among players, meanwhile, in um, behavior among players. Uh, that are, uh, so that's all. And then um, the arguments which we deliver by affirmative team is not strong enough. The reason is the first, they said the opposition, they said that the um, more players spend their time to play the video games, the, the more the, the negative impact can come to them. However, they did not tell us the more specific regarding the time duration mentioned. And then they are not be able to stand with their argument. And the second is they did not be able to repeat the arguments delivered by our team. They are only more focusing on their argument with, without more extra to block our arguments. They have tried, but we think they failed. So that's why our team is deserved to win this debate today. Thank you. All right, thank you for the reply speaker from the opposite team. <clears throat> and then for the last speaker is me myself as the reply speaker from the government team. All right, so um, first of all, let me give the, the standing arguments from our team. So the first, the arguments that still um, stand in this debate today that, that has not been tackled on by the opposite team is first is social interaction. So in this case, the 
um, we still standing with these arguments because the the opposite team did not um, did not really but why the the social interaction is not the the one of the negative impact from playing video games and then we um, in our team we believe that um, the players will spend most of the time to play instead of having social interactions like um, face to face interactions with with the people around them and the next standing argument is with playing a lot more time to play video games the players like children will be lazy to study because they spend more time to play instead of study. And then it will reduce their time to study in, instead of playing video games. And then for the physical health, um, we still um, standing with these arguments because our, because playing video games can cause many physical health such as the deficiency of the players and then the other, other physical problems. And then the influence of video games and monitor screen exposure on foresightness is confirmed by several researchers. That's why this argument is still um, still proper to stand from our team. And then the, the arguments that has has been tackled on by the opposite team is the aggressive behavior. They said that children can have aggressive behavior because of their environment and people around them, not only because of the video games. So this there's all the the, re, the the standing arguments and the arguments that has been tackled down by the opposite team. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention. All right, that's all the debate simulations from our team from our group as the final exam from critic for critical speaking. If there are many mistakes in these videos, we would like to apologize and constructive. Suggestions will be accepted. All right, thank you for your attentions. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.